Okay, so I am sitting in the testimony chair. <laughs> um, as we're wrapping up with another outing of street evangelism, which is what matters most. And then there's my testimony of my secret teas. Um, I don't understand this chapter in my life. I promised myself that I wasn't gonna cry, so I'm not gonna cry. I don't understand this chapter in my life though because it requires me to be obedient. And um, sometimes when God asks you to be obedient in areas of your life, saying it all and yet he said do it and even though I know um, how far God has brought me and I've seen him do amazing miracles in my life it doesn't change the fact that when he tells you it's time for a new series of miracles to happen in your life that it's going to be any easier when it comes down to following instructions so simple as to stop see we're so trained in go mode whether it's due to a hardship situation and you have that go getting or that go getter attitude and so if you're not going and getting it you feel as though you ain't doing nothing but there's things in God's word like be still and know that I am God that that lets you have assurance in knowing you don't always got to move in order for God to be able to bless you. Sometimes God will require you to just be still. And I'm at another point in my life where no, I'm not in a jail cell anymore, which is where I was the last go round for me to be able to literally be still and be able to know that God was God. But um, it takes a lot of control to be able to be in a position where you're not in bondage like the children of Israel or you're not in, you know, in, in whatever to be able to say, okay, I got so many options of things that I can do. I can still, I can literally be disobedient and and still try to do things my way, even though God is telling me to be still. And so I really, really, really feel like God has been testing for the last past few months of my life. He's been testing my ability to be obedient. He's been testing my free will with my obedience to say I'm not gonna literally put you in bondage for you to be still and know that I am who I am because I've done enough in your life already for you to know exactly who I am so now I am about to allow you to be in environments where you have choices like Adam and Eve had you have choices to be able to mess with and to do things that you know I don't want you to do because I'm telling you to literally be still Miss Go-Getter or Mr. go -Getter. I'm telling you to be still and so I'm going to see what are you willing to do because your next series of miracles requires not me removing you so that you can be still but for you to have the audacity to say I don't understand this thing I don't like how it makes me feel it is so uncomfortable I am being taken out of my comfort zone but in the midst of it all God I trust you enough to be able to do it even though I don't understand it and that is where I am right now I am trusting God to do things in my life even when I don't understand it I'm out here People may call me crazy and a lot of times I'll literally say, I don't care if I got to look Noah crazy. I am going to do what God told me to do. 
If I gotta cry and do it, I'ma cry and do it. If I gotta lose some people in the process, I'm gonna lose some people in the process and do it. If I gotta limp because of being hurt, because I done had to trample over the serpent's head, I'ma have to limp and do it. But at the end of the day, I am going to do it. That is why I am out here. I am doing the purpose that God created for me. And I'm in my beginning stage. So no, it don't look like and it ain't supposed to look like what God promised me. But God don't make mistakes. And he don't lie. So even getting this far in my life even with losses that I may have taken to keep my obedience level intact with God. Um, I don't count them as losses because I know God don't make mistakes. I, I, I count them as lessons. I don't count them as um, um, God lied. I count them as God said, okay, I'm going I'm to test you. Because you got to understand, listen, every single thing that God has for you, it is not meant to be easy. It wasn't easy for Jesus. Before he ascended back to heaven, you gotta understand that crucifixion was painful. And I need as a word of encouragement for people that may be on the journey that I am on or that may future wise end up on the journey that I'm on. I need you to be under to be able to understand that Jesus suffered a great deal of pain even before he got on the cross. I mean he broke bread with people that would deny him during his worst moments of his life. He broke bread at the last supper with his betrayal and yet at the end of the day even when he came up off the cross he still went with the exception of Judas he still went back to the same people as a way of saying I love you still regardless of what happened beforehand because it was necessary i love you still i can fellowship with you still and not only that but i can give you what i ended up being able to be given once i fulfilled my purpose i can now give you a token of my appreciation aka the holy spirit that i would have never got had you all not played a part on, along my journey and so I'm thanking God in advance for what he is doing in this season and in the next of my life and as always I love you all and until next time